Hey everyone, I'm Spider-Man 1991, and I'm here to talk about the recent original graphic novel from Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man Family Business, written by Mark Wade and James Robinson. Alright, uh, pretty much the, the basic premise of Family Business is that Peter Parker is suddenly attacked in his apartment by these, by these guys who look like a SWAT team, and he's able to escape thanks to his spider powers, and after he escapes, he's confront he's pulled into a car by a woman whose name is Teresa Parker, and she claims to be Peter's sister, who was put up for adoption after, who was put for adoption at some point by, by Richard and Mary Parker. And also, <clears throat> apparently she works for the CIA, and she's trying to help protect Peter from, from these people who are after him, who is revealed to, who, the person who's really after Peter is actually the Kingpin, who's trying to, who apparently wants Peter because there's this vault that contains this deadly weapon called the called the uh, sleeper robot, which is pretty much this giant this uh, giant robot from World War II that apparently gave Captain America trouble. So it was locked into a chamber that was reprogrammed by Peter's dad, Peter Peter's dad, Richard Parker, and it was programmed so that only Richard Parker could open it. And I I don't mean just DNA, but also like facial recognition, voice patterns, and the only person. So the only person on and it's because of Peter's really strong resemblance to his dad, that's the reason the Kingpin wants him, so that he could use Peter to open the chamber. And, yeah, and it does sound ridiculous, but actually when Peter and Teresa find their parents' old safe house, uh, P when Peter goes in and activates something, it immediately recognizes him as Richard Parker. So, you know, clearly that works. Also, whether or not, also the identity about this new character, Teresa Parker, whether or not she is actually Peter's sister, um, they do to... When they get towards the end of the book, when Spider-Man is finally confronted by the Kingpin, uh, they do bring—they do finally give us a clear answer about her identity. But uh, later, at the end of the book, on the last page, it's left ambiguous whether or not she really is Peter's sister or not. So, I'd say it's still kind of a mystery. Also, uh, this book, also the plot of this book, with uh, the Kingpin trying to unlock it, unlock a weapon that involved that was hidden away by the part. By the Parkers, kind of reminded me of that uh, that episode's arc of Spider-Man: The Animated Series that involved Captain America and the six, and the Six Forgotten Warriors of World War II. Uh, if you remember, Kingpin was trying to find a device, find a weapon that was used by the Red Skull, and also Peter was trying to solve the mystery of his parents. So, so this so this story reminded me a lot of that uh, animated series story arc, um, <clears throat> and also. <clears throat> And also, the artwork in this is just brilliant. I mean, it's like really, I mean, it's like a paint, like really painted on the page and stuff. I mean, it just looks beautiful. And, and overall, the story is very entertaining, especially when we get, when we get into more about, since, you know, this goes into more about Peter's parents who were spies. And, you know, I think, and also the best thing about this book is that I think it's pretty much, uh, something you can give anyone who doesn't read comics that much because this is like a one and done uh, story arc right here. It doesn't con it doesn't really connect to anything and it's not really essential for you don't really need to read anything before this. You don't need to read anything after this. It's just pretty much all compact this one book, which I think is very nice. And I think Wade and Robinson did a good job writing it. Um, I like the artwork in it. So I would say if you're a Spider-Man fan, uh, then this book is definitely a buy. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching my review of. Amazing Spider-Man Family Business. Uh, I enjoy your comments. I, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm Spider-Man1991. Saying see you later.